John Dalton was an English chemist. He studied the ratios by which elements combine in many chemical reactions. The results led him to formulate an atomic theory with several following points that I want to go over. So the first is all elements are made of simple, indivisible atoms. The next is the atoms in any given element are identical. Now this is the atoms within one element. Atoms of different elements are different. Now atoms of different elements can combine with each other in simple whole number ratios to form product compounds. Now the rest of these, of, of these, this atomic theory, all these points deal directly with chemical reactions. So atoms can be joined together to form compounds. The next point is compounds or combined atoms can be pulled apart into their constituent atoms. So atoms can be joined together to form compounds and these compounds or combined atoms can be pulled apart. So they can join together or come back apart. The third point is combinations of atoms can be rearranged. And then finally, in chemical reactions, atoms of one element can never be changed into atoms of another element. Now remember, this is in chemical reactions. Atoms of one element can never be changed into atoms of another element. So these are the points of John Dalton's atomic theory. And so these range over a number of things about specifically atoms and then atoms in chemical reactions. So just try to remember some of these main points here. Ad all elements are made up of indivisible atoms. Atoms in any given element are going to be identical. Atoms of different elements can combine with each other. In chemical reactions, atoms can be joined together or separated apart. Combinations of atoms can be rearranged. And in chemical reactions, atoms of one element can never be changed into atoms of another element.